morning boys and girls this is mr love again this is thursday's pe lesson and i hope you all had a good night's rest got to do some of your activities yesterday not just pe activities got out and played a little bit today i'm outside again and a little bit windy out here we're out in my front yard and uh got dandelions all over the place got grass mud but we're outside and we're going to play a little bit now Last couple days we've been working on throwing and catching. And today let's go ahead and start with our exercises and then we'll start, we'll talk a little bit about throwing and catching. All right, let's do 10 jumping jacks. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. 10 toe touches, spread those feet out. Let's hear you counting. Here we go. One, up, opposite hand, two, up. Three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten, up. All right, let's get those shoulders loosened up. Let's do those shoulder rolls. Ten forward and ten backwards. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Backwards. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do those high knee marches. Here we go. Take your knee to your elbow like that. Here we go. Ten of them. One, oh, two, three. Switch legs. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do those squats, those sumo squats. Spread your feet out, get your hands up here. Let's do 10. Here we go, one, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, and 10. Let's do 10 toe raises. Remember you're raising up on your toes? Hold it for a little bit. Here we go up one, back down. Up two, back down. Up three, down. Up four, down. Up five, down. Up six, down. Up seven, and down. Up eight. and down all right good job now the last couple days we've been throwing our ball here remember it's just two socks rolled together and if you had a different kind of ball that was fine you could use it too but this was soft you didn't have to worry about getting hurt with it and it was easy to make so remember when we throw we're putting that ball up here by our ear get that elbow up we're stepping and I've always told you just to step, but today I want you to step with the opposite foot. So this is my right hand. If I throw with my right hand, the opposite of right is left. So I should be stepping with my left foot towards my partner. And then I throw, and after I throw, I follow through, pointing my target. Okay? <clears throat> so make sure you do those four steps. Ball by your ear, elbows up. Step with your opposite foot today, throw, and follow through towards your target. Remember when we catch, give a target, eyes on the ball, catch with our hands, and bring it in. So when you're throwing today, practicing, make sure you're doing those several different things. That way it's going to make you a better thrower, and it'll get you ready when you want to play on some teams. And I know some of you already play on teams. And I've got a special guest here today. This is my son. This is Austin. He's coming in. And he plays a little bit of baseball. And um, he's been, how long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing since I was probably three or four. So you started throwing, time. did you start throwing at three years old? Yes, he did. He's probably uh, started throwing time, earlier yeah. than that. And so he's been throwing a long time. It's never too early 
to start you know throwing but you always want to try doing it the right way and that's why I'm trying to show you the right way to throw a ball now um, what are some important things that you that it takes to be a good ball player what's some things that these kids might want to think about when they're um, when they're becoming a good player if they want to be a good player uh, definitely you need to make sure you're working hard to try and get better every day and then you got to always make sure you're keeping your grades up because if you don't have good grades and the coaches probably aren't going to let you play on the team and then you also have to listen to your teachers and your coaches all the time do whatever they tell you because they probably know what's what's right do you have fun playing ball yeah what's what's probably maybe one of the most fun things about playing baseball I mean I just like being outside and getting to play with all my friends ah, so it's good to have friends and and that's the thing you built good friendships all the way throughout do you still have friends that you played with when you were four years old yeah I still have friends that I've been playing with for my whole life so baseball and all sports they're games that you can play and you can have friends for your whole life so it's a good thing to play sports all right now austin he plays for north carolina he plays college baseball and he pitches so for the next couple minutes we're going to play the game called catch this is the most probably one of the oldest games of throwing there ever is because all you want to do you're going to throw back and forth with your friend or your dad or your mom in this case this is dad and son throwing and we've done this for a long time I don't get to do it much anymore because he throws it too hard but we're gonna throw a little bit just watch us throw for a few and then we're going to end the lesson so and I want you all to practice throwing today and you can play this game of catch with your favorite person maybe all right here we go we're gonna grab our gloves and then we're gonna throw Hopefully you can see us. All right, got my good old glove here. Don't know how far we'll have to get out. All right, here we go. Throwing back and forth with our friend. I'm gonna step out of the picture. So that's just the simple game of catch and I hope you all enjoyed that and I want you all to practice that today when you all play and then you all can just continue to do that. Have a great day and we'll see you next Monday.